Hey guys, welcome back to our Diablo 3 beta walkthrough of the monk class. Uh, we just found Deckard Kane, and there he is. And now we're gonna talk to Leia. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Time runs short. Tell me what you know of the Fallen Star. Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Alright. Now, I don't know much about the story of Diablo, but I feel like the end of days has already uh, come twice before. It's like Castlevania, with Diablo always coming back. Alright, let's start selling some of this stuff here. We got four armor shoes. Don't need that. I don't think I need these. Whoops. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, I can shift left click to just keep on doing it. Okay, see so you learn new things every day. Uh, this is my first time playing this game. Give me a break. Picking things up as I go. Alright, let's talk to Kane again. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Nonetheless, the Skeleton King bars my path to the Fallen Star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. All right. Malia, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising, and the Lord yeah, dead lies. Rising. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. All right. Looks like their conversation is done. I didn't want to skip it because I'm sure you guys would be yelling at me. Lee has spent all night alongside the and blacksmith's wife, yeah, let's start heading over here. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down Talk to the blacksmith. Hey, what can I do for you? Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. Oh, wife. yes. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It reminds it me regret, of uh, Griswold. But it must be done. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. I love how all blacksmiths in Diablo have Scottish accents. Where are we going? Uh, I thought you. I thought I was following you. All right. My friends, I'm sorry. This must be done. I actually really like the monk. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, he's my first class I've played, but I like the way he plays. It's uh, right now it's pretty mindless uh, clicking, but I can see how. Positioning would be very important when using the monk. Mira, my love. Oh, she's gonna Forget turn. Uh, Hedrick, help me. Oh, listen, kill her. Kill her now. Couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. As it happens, I am looking for King Leoric's crown. Perhaps you know of it. 
I can help you. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in oh, the Weeping cube. Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Use Northwest. Okay. Exiting Nutrist. There's a big pack coming this time. Stand your ground. Oh, scavengers! That's the last of them. The bridge is clear. That wasn't a big pack at all. All right. Bonus: Find Hadrig's apprentice. Let's do that. Always want to go for the bonuses. God, I'm so used to playing League of Legends, so it bothers me when the the camera is centered on my character like this. I kind of just want to be able to scroll to the end of the screen. Hell away from me! Come on, there you go. Oh man, it's like corpse uh, corpse explosion from the Necromancer when he killed those things. Oh, it's a unique. Oof. Look at all that blood. Got it. Go away. What else we have here? Thick gloves. Thick gloves. What's this? Oh, yeah, let's, let's put these on. I think we're good with that. Where those torsos come from? All right, got another skill slot. Let's take a look at this. Cool. I want to test out my new skill. There we go. Oh, badass. That was, oh, that's fast. Look, I don't even have to... 
gonna have to wait for it to come back. Oh, I love this. I love this already. Oh, I love the monk class already. Oh, that's awesome. Am I poisoned? I feel like I'm attacking slower. Oh, I'll slowly take damage. So I guess that's what plague means. I'll take it. What is going on? Oh, I got a hood. Yeah, I got something going on my head. What the hell is going on over there? This is where the game starts getting fun. Not that it wasn't fun already, but this is where it starts to get awesome. This is what sets Diablo apart from other games like it. I love this dash. I imagine it's gonna make uh, PvP crazy with the monk. Cause that's my problem with uh, with Diablo PvP. I feel like it's so much uh, gear based and not enough, you know, skill based. So anything that adds a skill barrier is something that's good in my opinion. Like, you're not going to be easy to hit if you're playing as a monk and you're dashing around all over the place. Then there's of course the the energy management or spirit management management.
are what we're going to put into this video right here. Uh, we'll see you next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.